Education planning has become a critical piece of most people's financial plan because the breadth and the depth of education planning has really expanded and evolved the past 10, 20 years, even the past five. And it requires saving for education, both through tax-effective accounts, education savings accounts. You know, we also at Buckingham bring into the picture, what does financial aid look like? How do I become more financially sound in my eligibility for both public and private grants or loans or scholarships? And we're really looking at what's most tax efficient today, what are the credits and deductions that we can acquire, but also, you know, what's going to create the most amount of success. And really when it comes down to it, parents and families, they just want to do what's best for the next generation. They just want to do what's best for their kids. And we help them put in place a plan that's really what's best for them. Money is emotional. It's an emotional conversation and that's okay. It should be. Your advisor should be an advocate that puts as much energy and investment into the relationship that they do into the rate of return. Education planning does not happen in a vacuum. Most things in finances don't. But when your education plan can work in harmony with your retirement plan and your investment portfolio and all the other pieces of expertise that Buckingham brings to bear to someone's holistic financial plan, that framework even becomes more important in the confines of education planning. Everyone's higher education journey is different. But at the very end of it, what I'd hope for clients that we work with, they feel resolve. And they're convicted that they've done everything they can because they've had people in their corner that have done everything they can with all the tools in their toolbox and all the strategies that we have to know that no matter what, they have a plan and that plan's going to work out for their loved one.